It's been a hot sec since I made a video. Yeah. Yeah. Hey everyone! Long time no see. I am here today with a new video idea that I want to start doing. One of my friends also recently told me that I have a very eclectic music taste and I didn't really know that a lot of people said that about their music tastes and I didn't really understand it until I realized that I'll go from listening to anything from the Animal Crossing soundtrack to Screamo in a matter of minutes and I find them both equally entertaining. So. I figured a really fun thing to do would be to share what I've been listening to on a monthly basis. Maybe we'll do every other month. We'll see how this goes because I'm busy and you've probably already seen my other video explaining about why I'm busy and why I've been gone and things like that. January favorite music and new artists. Let's hop right into it, shall we? Okay, so first artist is called Idealism. I love Idealism. I think his music is really good. I discovered him on 8-tracks for the most part. If you're not on 8-tracks, what are you doing? Definitely go check it out. It's so awesome. It's such a great community of music lovers and things like that. I would describe it as chill and lo-fi type music. If you've never heard of lo-fi before, I often describe it as kind of found footage, but in a musical form. It borrows from ambient sounds like birds or people talking in cafes and rain and it mixes that with chill kind of electronic beats or hip-hop and things like that. Oh, and it also borrows a lot from TV and movie dialogues, often from like the 80s and the 90s, and if it's Japanese chill hop or lo-fi, it will often borrow from anime and TV dramas and things like that. All right, so now these are my favorite songs from Idealism. My first favorite song is Ilya's Dream from the Heraeth EP, I think, is how you would say that name. I'm not exactly sure. It's the perfect soundtrack for like walking through a busy city or like driving through a small town on a rainy day. It's very reminiscent and thoughtful, but there's like a touch of melancholy in there and it's so beautiful. I fall asleep to it a lot. Speaking of falling asleep, my next favorite single is Falling Asleep at 3.37 a.m. It is so good. It's just a simple piano with some cafe ambient noises and talking. Its tone is like ominous, but it's also elegant. It's also kind of just unknown. It's so good. And then my last one is A Moment of Silence. And I forget what EP it's from, but I'll put everything uh, either in the description or in this video right now. But A Moment of Silence is a song that I've put in one of my travel videos, actually. You can go and find it. I would play it in a cafe, in a town I've never been to, reading a book, watching people walk by. It's lonely, but with this feeling in the back of your mind of knowing that despite this feeling of loneliness you have right now, you're still loved. I don't know, that's just the feel that I get from it, but it's a really good song. So that's all for idealism. Let's move on to the next person. I don't know what this is. Okay, next artist, ready? Hone, oh my god, Hone. I can't believe I'm just getting on the Hone train now. I don't know how I didn't find them sooner. They are so good. They're from Britain, I believe, and they're described as all of these weird names. I'll read it out to you. Hone is described as synth pop, contemporary R&B, sophistipop, which is basically like a mix of jazz, soul, electronic, and pop. And in my own opinion, they have chill funk vibes. It's really fun to dance to. All right, so here are my favorite songs. I love almost everything from the album, Warm on a Cold Night. And if we're gonna go into details, one of the singles that I love from it is its namesake, Warm on a Cold Night. It borrows ambient sound from driving in a car, that background sound, and from like a fake radio show. It's sensual, but it's also lovely and it's just awesome. The next one is actually from an EP, I believe. Ugh, I don't know, this is the album art. It's white and blue. It's called Just Dance and it is so good. It's just a funky song and I love it and I cannot jive to it. Like every time I hear it, I've got to dance and that's basically it. It's called Just Dance and it's so good. All right, and then there's Someone That Loves You, which I think is their most popular song and for good reason. This song makes me feel like I want to dance to it, but I also want to push away my unrequited love while shouting the chorus at them. It's just so bittersweet and mixed. It perfectly encapsulates that feeling of how you can feel full of love and happy and yet utterly alone when someone can't return your feelings. And it's just, oh, it's so, whew, it's a good one. Next artist. Black Bear. Oh my god, 
Black Bear. I'm gonna have to give him his own video someday. I adore Black Bear. I love everything he's ever done and I could talk about every album and EP in detail, but just in the sake of time, for January I've really been listening to his new EP, Cyber Sex. All of them are really good. Froze Over is a great one. So is Anxiety. Um, they all have a very different feel to them. And just, yeah, definitely check out Black Bear. He's done way more than just Do Re Mi and Dead Roses, if you know him from that. And it's just my boy. But yeah, so check him out. He's so good. All right, next artist. The next artist is Pale Waves. I discovered them at the 1975 concert in Seattle in May because they opened for them and I immediately fell in love with the lead singer. She just has this goth power lesbian vibe to her and I wanna marry her if I could someday. That'd be really cool. Uh, but they have a great sound. If you've ever wanted a the 1975 vibe, but mixed with more of that British pop rock vibe, that is Pale Waves, and they're so good. I recommend any of the singles that they've released so far. I think they've released around six or something, but a good one to start with would probably be Television Romance. It's just so happy and cheerful sounding, but the lyrics are sad and bittersweet, and it's just a really fun song. Next artist is... Oh god, The Neighborhood. Another band that's gonna have to get their own freaking video because I followed them for five years. Everything they've ever done and I adore them. I've been listening to their two new EPs recently. One came out in December actually, but I've been listening to it in January. I've been listening to To Imagine and the best track on there I would say is Stuck With Me. It's very good. I highly recommend watching their YouTube video, music video that they did. It's a compilation of the entire To Imagine EP and some other songs and it's so good. It's, it's just fresh and amazingly well done and constructed and choreographed and it's what I want to see from music videos nowadays, as someone who loves music videos and wants to have that be a part of my major careers making them. This is the kind of thing that I go to, that I point out to people when I say, I want to make stuff like this. The other EP I've been listening to is Hard, the EP, and I think the song that I listen to the most off of there is 24-7. It's got a really good, like, kind of pop rock vibe sort of with some electronic in there. It's really good. All right, I guess ending with the best. So that is all of my music that I've been listening to a lot in January. I hope that some of you guys find that useful and we'll check them out. I really want all of these bands and artists to be supported more. But yeah, it was great talking to you guys again, finally. And I hope to see you soon. Bye.